Hello, Frugal Shortcut Mom, here coming to you with a Dollar General Penny Haul for Tuesday, May 17th, 2016. Now, I've got to say praise the Lord from up above whom all blessings flow. This is the biggest penny haul I have ever um, gotten since I've been penny shopping, and this is definitely the biggest toy penny haul ever. I think maybe I might have gotten one or two penny items for toys, but um, Blue Dot Toys have pennied out. Not the Blue Star, it's Blue Dot. And let me show you what I got. And this will be the first section. Here we got little Mega Blocks. They had all different ages. I went to four different stores and you see how the blue dot they have that and then even there are some stuffed animals little Sully from Monster University originally ten dollars a penny <laughs> ah sorry I was kind of excited these are the toys I found in two separate stores here sock monk monkeys blue dot that was a penny then you've got like little doctor kits. That was blue dot. And then you've got some monster high. This was a puzzle. Then there was some craft items, little kits. That are normally five dollars. Those were a penny. Blue dot. Let's see. I think all the different kits I got were a little different each. You get to do different stuff. And then another crafty kit was like zipper bracelet creations. And then here's some more blue dot. Little girl stuff. You can make like little bling stuff. And there's one. And then I got a couple of like little sneaker bling sets. Only five dollars. Those were a penny. And let's see, they did have find some boy stuff, some little stuff, little Indian villages, stuff that was normally two dollars. That was a penny. And then the shots for like your little dart guns, nerf style. And that's what those look like, blue dot. Basically anything that is Blue dot, blue dot, blue dot, penny, penny, penny. And here I found even like little smaller kid style toys. This is like 36 months plus. Little Smart Loco with little train set. And it goes around. So I found four sets of those. And those are all the same colors, I believe. I found four of those and then let's see and then like little pistols this was a clearance item but still blue dot that was a penny and then some other little type things for girls this is like little hair extensions little little clip with it and it lights up and there's your clip I got several of these. Now most of these toys came from one store. They were very nice enough to have everything of blue dots separated in a nice little section and they did have signs up that said you know blue dot toys 70% off but I knew better. They were a penny. And this one, I mean, there's little stuff like this, little dino grabbers that were like marked a dollar, but they had blue dot on it. Everything that I got for the toys had the dot. I know once in a while there's other items that don't have dots, but for this shopping haul, it was all blue dots. Yeah, blue happens to be my favorite color. And here's some more girly stuff. I mean, it's so cute. Look at this. One of those little toy heads where you get to play with the hair and do different hairstyles. And these other little girly dolls. 
that were normally five dollars got them for a penny these are all different I mean all different dresses and no one picked them up for seventy percent off so I went ahead and got them and then look for a little bit older boys they've got the different guns different styles some were twelve some were ten dollars normally and then like your action sets tactical squad that was normally ten dollars I got that for a penny little soldier sets the core and there's another like a pump action rifle or shotgun normally ten dollars and those were a penny so this is all my different toy items which I got at two different stores one store I found like like three or four of these little toy the younger stuff over here and a monster puzzle like three items but one store had the rest of all this stuff all nicely separated you know you gotta look high and look low and I was just getting ready to walk out of the store because this was at the last store the farthest away from me God bless me the most and this is all my toy penny items I haven't even added it up to find out because I wanted to get this video shot and up so other people can find some of these goodies at their store and coming up is gonna be my penny sock haul yes penny socks hold on Google shortcut bum back here with the penny sock haul from Dollar General in addition to Blue Dot Toys there is a number of different socks that are have pennied out it will be these are going to be fashion socks white dot yellow dot gray dot and pink star now these fashion socks will all be a penny I did not find any of the pink star socks but I did find lots of white dot, yellow dot, and gray dots in all different sizes. Um, here's like for babies. Here's an example of four pairs. White dot, a penny. And you get, you know, stuff for girls and boys. So I get several of those. Those were white dot. And then you got some name brand. You got some cute Muppets. There's Disney. Let's see the frozen one that was yellow dot, the Muppets, let's see where is it, white dot, and then let's see My Little Pony, and these are all single singular socks, that was white dot, and those were all a penny, and these are all single also, um, Bobby Brooks, where you see the dollar off, or the dollars original price socks those are gray dots and please be careful there is some other gray dots that are newer gray dots that I seen in my stores that were um, they're SP 16 so if you want to look on the back I don't know if this will focus, focus on these are going to be F14s. You want to look for the year. There it gives you 14 gray dot. Now those are going to be a penny. Anything that has like a gray dot, it might be a little lighter shade than this or something similar to that. SP16, um, that's brand new stock because that's for spring of 16. So be careful on that one. I'm pretty sure those will not ring up a penny. I did not try because I've made that mistake before thinking something has pennied out but it's like the newer stock. So make sure when you're getting your gray dot socks that is like um, from the year 14 that signifies when it came out. It's the older style not the new gray dot. You don't want to get fooled for that because those would be full price. And here's Bobby Brooks. You get all kinds of cute little different socks. 
I mean, check this out. You know, Eiffel Tower with a bow on it. So you get that. And these are all still, I believe, yeah, gray dots. Little roses. Little camo. And cupcakes! <laughs> Imagine that. And that's the style like Bobby Brooks, you see. Those all gray dot. And then we've got yellow dot socks. And here's some like M&M style that are yellow dots. Those were a penny each. And then here you see other yellow dots that were like singular socks. Ladies. Or you can, you know, for the older girls. You know, fruits. You know, flowers, little animal prints, and this is kind of like what yellow dot is. And there's also, let's see, Betty Boop style, which is going to be yellow dot. And she'll have her own, like, little tag up there. So that's easy to spot. Yellow dot, Betty Boop, one penny each. And there's some more fruits. And here's like for the little boys, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles. Now be careful, um, there are a bunch of turtle socks that are gray stars, which are not a penny. Those will be the full price. But these are the ones, the turtles that are yellow dot. Those will be a penny each. And their brand is like the Nickelodeon brand. But be careful, it's not the gray star, it's a yellow dot. And those are like the singulars. And then, then they've had uh, sets. Here's some white dot. Little um, boys and girls socks. These are like seven days a week. Where you got each day, like Monday through Sunday, on each sock. So each day of the week they got their sock there different kinds. Here's some like boy styles. And then I've got some, let's see, sets that are yellow dot girl styles. So these seven days a week socks that have the different days on each sock, so you get seven pairs for a penny. That's insanely cheap, but I'll take it. They had them in the white dot and also in the yellow dot. And then here's some more yellow dot of the boys, seven days a week, where you get seven pairs of socks for a penny. And then also here's, let's see, some other like Bobby Brooks. These are like the younger, the girls, where you get four pairs. Normally three dollars. Those are the gray dots. And those were a penny. And here are like four packs of girl socks. And those are yellow dot. And those were a penny. And then they also did have a set of four pack for the boy socks. That were also yellow dot. And then here is, <laughs> can you say like, whew, I got, uh, Christmas stocking stuffers all wrapped up for the ladies on my list. And these are, they had a whole box nice enough to have them all displayed there. Yellow dot, normally $5. These are the ladies six pack socks. And you've got multiple different styles. I mean, it's just insane how much I got but and I do believe I left another like carton like this one one of the top shelves that was one one of the dots but I figured you know hopefully somebody else can get to it before they pull it but I just had so much here and this is like you know packs of six packs of socks. I mean, this whole thing is just filled. 
I mean, you got some cute little, th look at that. All different kinds of styles. And these are like the shorter, you know, like the no-show socks. To where it's like, these would be good for summertime. And you get cute little ice cream cones. You know, treat. I mean, just, I am so blessed. You know, a lot of this will go to um, our church. The kids have, on Wednesday nights, they have Patch the Pirate Club. And they have a patch store where they earn patch bucks and they get to go shopping um, every now and then with their patch bucks. And I always like to, to donate to that. And when something's like $5, I'm not going to be able to donate much because, you know, we're a single income family working off my husband's uh, salary. So this is how I help supplement and this is how I'm able to bless the kids and be able to donate is by penny sales. And this is like, this is like a massive haul to me. I'm used to getting maybe a handful of penny items here and there. And I'm grateful for that. But all this, I mean, with the toys and socks. And, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of speechless and very, very grateful for all of this. And I want to give a big thankful thank you to... Um, Miss Tanya Ortiz, she is on YouTube here, and I will link her channel. And she teaches us how to create our own economy. Now, she has different streams of how she earns money, and I will give a link to her YouTube channel so you can go check her out. Because she does other things besides just penny shopping and other ways. So if people are struggling and they want to learn how to supplement their incomes or to buy like I've got you know Christmas presents I've got stuff to donate to church is this like and this is how I do it so I will link her YouTube channel down below so you too can find out how you can uh, penny shop and deep discount shop and get some goodies for your family so thanks for watching Happy hunting. God bless.